hi i'm gisho igashusha the proprietor of the trout valley nyeri the trout valley is a trout fish farm trout fish is a delicacy its nutrition of value is good particularly omega-3 here at the trout valley we say that life should taste as good as trout and this is my story I decided to do trout uh, fish farming because trout fish is the most suitable fish in this uh, location. Trout uh, fish requires cold water, fresh water, and uh, this is what we are getting from the Pachania. Trout fish is uh, a fish uh, of class. Uh, anything trout is uh, class and style. Uh, in terms of uh, nutrition, it has very high content of omega-3 and uh, also is a rare fish, a delicacy like no other. No wonder here at the Trout Valley we say that life should taste as good as trout. And the river here, River Chania, had been uh, stocked with uh, trout fish long time ago by the colonial governor specifically for angling, sport fishing. And therefore, since I've grown up from this area, I grew up knowing that there is trout fish in this uh, river. And we used to fish. That's why I decided I want to do it and do it in a commercial way. You cannot satisfy the demand of trout allowed here. Trout fish farming as a commercial enterprise has been good, uh, I would uh, say, for those who have fresh water, cold, clean, fresh water, trout fish farming is a good enterprise. I sourced my figurines uh, when I was starting from the government hatchery in Mount Kenya Forest. There is a very big hatchery which was started long, long, long time ago in Mount Kenya Forest. And that's where we got our first supply. We have five uh, uh, ponds, circular ponds, three uh, six meters diameter. Each can hold about 3,000 uh, table-sized fish. Then we have uh, the uh, two big circular ponds, which are 12 meters in diameter. Those ones can uh, accommodate up to 6,000 uh, pieces of uh, trout fish. But more particularly, it depends on the amount of water getting in and out of uh, the pod. As uh, you can see, we have uh, some raceways there and the makeshift hatchery. That is where we produce, we hash, actually we hash some of our figurines from this farm. From that makeshift hatchery and then uh, the raceways, eventually bringing them to the small pods you're seeing here. A figurine is sold per niche and uh, each each is 15 shillings. So a figuring of three edges will be 45 shillings. A table size fish, that is a fish uh, 250 grams. Uh, usually here we sell at 400 shillings. When the fish gets to the table size, it will take about 10 months to 12 uh, months. And uh, when uh, passed through the kitchen, with accompaniment, we sell them at 1,000 shillings per plate. Some of the challenges we have experienced during our journey in trout farming is uh, one, there is an aerial predator, a bird, uh, the kingfisher. But uh, uh, that one we take care by having somebody on the farm uh, early in the morning, mostly that is when it strikes, or later in the evening. The other problem that we've encountered a source of uh, good quality feeds and uh, then uh, also we've had uh, uh, problems but not a major problem with uh, what we call fin rot and uh, the, to take care of that one is uh, to avoid over stocking in a pod uh, there is another predator known as the outer 
and there are very many in this river along this river Chania but we've taken care of that by the way we have fenced all around the farm. As a businessman I would say the market for trout fish is huge. You cannot satisfy the demand because this is a fish that uh, is, uh, can only thrive in uh, high rats where we have cold waters and therefore it's a layer fish and the demand is very high. As an experienced farmer in trout uh, farming I would encourage anybody near a very good source of water like uh, our neighbors here to go into trout fish farming. Uh, fish farming and generally aquaculture is a very good uh, way of creating wealth, improving nutrition and uh, offering employment. So I would encourage those who are uh, actually uh, near sources of good rivers to make use of that inherited wealth from God and start uh, uh, fish farming. We will be ready here at the Trout Valley to mentor them and to show them the way. And that is my story as a trout fish farmer. What is your story?